few notes to include. This was not to basically make him look photorealistic. So this is something that is slightly different from what I'm normally doing, which is to say I want non-photorealistic, almost cartoony uh, caricature, because why not? <laughs> so um, as we progress, uh, I do want to treat it fairly similar to how I would normally be drawing. So in saying that, I am going to kind of start where I would normally start before, which is to say, um, So here we have a very neutral tone in the background, which I really, really like. Uh, and we're going to, hold on one second. There it is, okay. Um, so we have a neutral tone. So pretty much all the colors that we attach above it is going to be fairly, aligned unless we pick something from the, the color wheel which I'm hoping nothing will be too jarring. Now this tone that we chose in the back is a fairly neutral neutral tone so it's not super anything <laughs> um, and that's kind of uh, intentional it's it's uh, a little bit more um, uh, kind of neutral just like the color itself. All right, so let's not worry too much. So we have a couple layers open already. So we have the background layer, which is its own separate layer. Uh, we have the line art layer, and we have the coloring layer, which happens below it. And as we get more sure of the marks that we've put down, we can start sort of disregarding the um, the line art, it's not going to be super important. Okay, so we're going to lock this so we don't accidentally fuck up the line art because undoing all that would really, really be horrible. So, thankfully, my trusty coloring has gotten it down to a fairly kind of regimented sign. So we can start coloring. Um, using Ooh, a standard cool color out. palette. And we don't have to worry too much about a lot of things, but we do want to kind of make sure that the uh, colors that we have are Need put down control. intentionally. I gotta get rid of it. I gotta get rid of it. 
And Boom. also notice that the color opacity isn't 100%, nor is it Justice, like 10% because it would take, a, take forever to build up color values. Uh, in which case, it, that would always. suck. Um, And all we're doing now okay. is Green. putting down the darkest colors that we can see. Yeah, I blame me too. Uh, I blame and me too. this is always helpful because it gives I us a, a baseline for the darkest darks, the lightest lights, and everything in between. So um, looking at this guy's face, the darkest darks are obviously his glasses. The shadows around his hair here um it's a very like and neutral color palette and i'm not sure if that was just like the post-production wanted to have it look slightly dated because what the guy you, is like a dapper doing? what's going on over here person i don't know um but hey look at shyla hey shyla how you doing uh-oh you're banned uh, happy tuesday hey shyla just ate my hair. Do not recommend. Yeah, don't. I wouldn't so, recommend it either. Shall as we how's progress, the, we're going to uh, build up a lot of these values pretty season. rapidly. Yeah. So we don't. Oops. Uh, want to work so slowly that we're not really seeing progress, and a lot of this art can be. Uh, added fairly quickly uh, uh, and i think that's good and also right, don't forget we can also use the eyedropper good. tool to yeah. basically uh put down like different sets of colors without having to uh right, like Kelsey reinvent Wade, the wheel the so yeah. having this neutral that's background that, that is the staples yellow uh, is going to be that. both incredibly helpful for that's having a neutral down. tone so the tone Six sort of dictates the brightest brights aren't super bright and the darkest darks aren't super dark. We, this is the middle tone, and actually this is what we call it, a mid-tone. Right. Uh, um, and I find that that is incredibly helpful uh, so that we are not kind of fighting the intensity of white. Intensity of white can wash out a lot of things. Uh, so that's why I tend to have a fairly neutral tone in the background. And as we progress, you know, this will be changed in post-production, so I'm not super concerned about that. Uh, but overall, pretty good. Oh, I need to mute Raven stream. There. Suck it, Raven. <laughs> um, okay, so um, I'm going to work fairly quickly I'm not going to really uh, be too accurate with the color matching at this point. We're mostly using this dark dark as a shadows, like the darkest darks that we can work from. Everything else that goes on top is going to be uh, a little lighter. And this is going to be a very limited palette. So this is more of a burnt umber. Um, and I really like Burnt Umber. It's a very good, war dark, warm tone. Uh, if you wanted to, we can actually add in like intense reds that we don't go like crazy dark with. Uh, like this would be way too intense. But we can use a fairly mid-tone of this Burnt Umber for some of the shadows around his nose. And as we go lighter, we can start building up the values around his cheeks. Uh, and that is how we will kind of do the baseline of this painting. Um, obviously, he has color in his face, but the colors that you're seeing, uh, and I'm sorry, I don't have a, a, a capture. I didn't save it on my iPad because I'm an idiot. Um, there isn't really a lot of blues. It's a lot of yellows, reds, and browns. So... Uh, most likely, I'm probably going to get really bored of that pretty quickly. So you want to uh, do what do what we see, and after that, we can tweak the colors, make it more fleshy, make it less saturated or more saturated in, in probably the case that I'm looking at, um, as we need to. So I like that a lot, and we're going to 
I'm going to stick with it. Also, I'm going to listen to music. So, Charlotte, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> 